Is Liam Gallagher's real name? God, but don't forget it. Why does Liam Gallagher wear a parkour? Because it makes me look cool. What is Liam Gallagher wearing? I'm wearing a parkour, as per usual. Liam Gallagher? Yeah. The first word that pops into your mind when I say up. Down. Pint. Yes, please. <laughs> Sun, S-U-N. Bunch of <laughs> Full of <laughs> always writing nonsense. Ugh. <laughs> That, that's more than words, right? Should I start again? <laughs> Let's okay. do the sun again. Sun, S U N. Sh shine. Yes! Hand. <laughs> this is fucking being all day, mate. Can we, what else, can we close the curtains and order a cutty in that? Just <laughs> watch a film, mate. <laughs> oh, and finally, slide in, baby. <laughs> what would you say is your spirit animal? Dolphin. Why does Liam Gallagher stand like that? Mm, interesting. Don't know, man. I just reckon I've stood like this. I mean, how else are you meant to stand? You meant to just stand how you meant to stand. Why does Liam Gallagher sing like that? Because it makes me loads of money. And people love it. We're going to have a new Prime Minister soon. Yeah, well, I don't even think we should have done that. You know what I mean? They've already had to that no one's really voted for, you know what I mean? I think three strikes and you're out, you know what I mean? Get the other party in there or whoever's next, you know, not just Labour, the Green Party, whoever else it is. That's been one of the strange things about recently. Suddenly all these politicians are coming out and saying that they've been taking drugs in the yeah, past. Yeah, I was yeah. just wondering, have you, ever seen, <laughs> have you ever seen a politician take drugs? No, 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 I don't hang out with politicians and I don't, I don't hang out with celebrities that hang out with politicians or these fake rock and roll stars that hang out with politicians. I just hang out with me, my missus and my kids and my mates. I don't knock about in that vibe. You did throw your but hands. If I did see a politician taking drugs, man, he'd get a crack round the head. Like that. What are you doing, you donut? You know what I mean? You wouldn't approve. No, no, no. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be, meant to be running the country. Uh, Liam, I know this is such a weird situation. It's, it's not weird. Podcast. This is where it's at. Every <laughs> <f> <laughs> weird. Man. It's ain't f***ing weird. So the, the country's on its f***ing arse at the moment. We need more of this shit. Real people getting together and having a f he got signed. Hey, hey, hey! Liam, 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 Liam. Famous Parkers. Okay. I want you to tell me what, what they mean to you, right. okay? Go on. And we start with this one. Right, that was a pretty green one. It didn't turn out as I wanted it. It's a Union Jack one. We wore it out of Isle of Wight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the what year? Yeah, Island White I Festival. I thought you were getting all American. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I remember that year. I was like, Dave, man. <laughs> I love this park and Liam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So that was from the Isle of Wight, and it was a BDI. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 2011. And, uh, yeah, and it didn't turn out the way I liked it, but I wore it anyway. Um, it is the only Parker to have its own YouTube video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a fact for you. Yeah! yeah hell yeah. yeah! Okay, what about this little beauty? Oh, right, that is... From That's a classic, it right? It's a classic. It's a classic. It's from, that is from Finsby Park. Mm-hmm. Yeah? That, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure the year, but it's Oasis era, and it was a, it's called Fake. And it's fantastic. And I st Oh, I think I'd give that away in a competition. Did you? Lucky, That's good um, you. Some lucky person somewhere. 2002, that was. Is that what it was? Oh, it, oh, do I have to find out the, the, the name no, no, of the game just, of the year? Just, just, no, I'm just... Oh, you just got shouting, yeah! <laughs> I'm just, just really excited to see you, as always. <laughs> right, I love talking about clothes with you. you yeah, know I know that. the gigs, I don't know the year. <laughs> yeah! Is there a topic you wish people would stop asking you about? Uh, yeah, are you hot in that park? Or? <laughs> I, I am hot in it. Shit up. In the near future, the human race has been forced to live underground in a subterranean ghetto. Food, supplies... Who comes up with this gear? Does it? Me, yeah. <laughs> is what I do. <laughs> While you're writing all these massive records, yeah, yeah. this is what well, I'm doing. Co-writing, mate. Come on, let's get it right. <laughs> I wrote all these on my own. I want to make that yeah, perfectly yeah, clear, yeah. producer yeah. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> um, so right, anyway... Right, go on, where are we here? Living underground in a subterranean ghetto, food, supplies and plenty of danger are on the surface. Who do you send to forage? For food and supplies. Forage as means what? Go and get some more. Go and get some food and Good supplies. Word. Forage, forage, word of the day. Is it George Ezra, David Beckham, or your brother Paul? Who's also brilliant in the documentary? Yeah, no, not David Beckham. You wouldn't understand the word he says. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, he, he can't understand the word he says, man. He's worse than me. Who was the other one? George Ezra. George Ezra or your brother Paul? Nah, too polite. George Ezra, man. He is, he's. He'd be there dilly dallying, mate. We're hungry.
You know yeah. I mean? We need Scan. Stop now. charming people. Our bod. He's a no, you know, he gets that, you know, he doesn't mess about. He's very black and white. Oh, I love Paul Gallagher. You know what I mean? Really do. So, yeah, our bod was go and get the, go and get the scrap. Do you have any irrational fears like snakes, airplanes, clowns, that type of thing? Mice. Fathers, Liam Gallagher run, I run about an hour most days. So, however far that is, uphills, downhills. Does Liam Gallagher run a marathon? Never. Not running with fried eggs and people dressed as pizzas and stuff. Not what it's about. Hilarious. Yeah. I, I got two of them. You got I two sausage, sausage dogs. dogs. Yeah. What's your dogs called? Ruby and uh, Ruby and Bridget. Oh. And like one of them. <laughs> what, mate? It got worse, mate. I lived on Hampstead Heath, and Gene come home with it, and he was he called it Sparkle, and it was about that big, and I'd have to take it out on the heath, and it get lost in the bushes, and I'm stood in the bushes going Sparkle, <laughs> <laughs> and it's on Hampstead Heath where it's on Hampstead Heath where. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of things going on. Where the fellas go, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was going, I was going, look at all these geezers coming out, going, ah, I'm okay. And I was like, oh. I had to change the name, man. So Ruby was I'm just better. looking for a bit of yeah. sparkle. <laughs> sparkle. Yeah. Come on, sparkle. <laughs> this celebrity craze that's going on at the moment, it's not for me, man. Do you think that it's it's dangerous for society to have this obsession with celebrity? Yeah, I think there's, I think there's too many famous people in the world, you know what I mean? All, and You know what I mean? I think it's just everyone seems to be famous, don't they? Do you know what I mean? And there's a lot of famous people out there for the wrong reasons. And at least you're famous because you're a beautiful young man and you do a great job on the radio. Thanks. And man. I'm famous because I'm another beautiful young man and I do a great job on the stage and that. But there's a lot of famous people out there, so-called celebrities, that what? Yeah. To cele you know, they're famous because they're orange. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They've got massive white teeth and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so yeah, I get the right up when people call me a celebrity. Yes, okay, you're a rock star. You're well, a musician, yeah, you're a songwriter. Yeah, rock and roll star. Yeah, rock and roll star. Rock stars rock. Right. Oh, no, yeah, of course. Yeah. I see what rock, you mean, rock actually. Roll. Rock yeah. and roll's got a bit more swagger, aren't they? And rock stars are a bit uptight, aren't they? I got 46, I think. Oh, I could be 47. I always get mixed up. I've done the f***ing the fire extinguisher. That was one night in Grout shows. And he was getting, he was going, f***ing, go on, you get your f***ing rule with it, have you? I was like, ah, shut up, you jolly f***. And he was going, go on, f***ing. He was giving me all his jewellery, like, f***ing, all this mad gold jewellery, like Mr. F***ing T. I was going, I don't want your f***ing jewellery, man. And he's going, f***ing, come on, man. Anyway, he was getting, and anyway, I was pissed and he was pissed. And I, I think he's got that OCD, you know, or one of them where he keeps cleaning up, like, every time I put a beard down, there's a little bit of wet patch. He kept cleaning it up and I thought, I'm going to f***ing have him in a bit. Anyway, so... He was down, I was getting off out, and I thought, oh, f***ing... Oh, I weren't even meant to be in there, actually. I was banned because I was snuck in on our kids' past. And as I'm going out the door, I turned around to Gaz, I said, yeah, Gaz, are you f***ing? And he's going, what are you f***ing, man, I just pulled the fire extinguisher out, and he's gone, because I know I'm going to f***ing spray the old gaff here now, like f***ing with the foam and that. And the last words that, that come out of his mouth was, no! And I was going, f***ing, yeah, you Geordie f off, man. I was like, Terminator. No, I'll tell you what it was like. It was like the f***ing... Was it... Who's it? F***ing... What's he called? The little f***er. The cocaine film. Scarface. It was just like, ah, f***, come on, you jolly f***ing And that was it. No! And I just f***ing... He was like Father Christmas. F***ing covered him like a snowman. And that was it. And I got barred from there. That was a good sign. When was the last time that you cried? Oh, the other day. What made you cry? I stubbed my toe on a coffee table. Mm. Many of us... I, I never saw a whole Oasis gig. I saw you perform because you did my oh, yeah. show. I was very pleased when you did, but mm. I, I've never seen a whole Oasis gig and I thought, I, I really want to see it. And then you split up too yeah. soon. We were around for 20 years, I was on from fucking yeah. hell. What are you up to? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you're not like, you know what I mean? Not like these 16 year olds that weren't born and you were, you were like, you lived down the corner from us. You know, you could have got off your ass. You couldn't have seen us, you know what I mean? I can see why you don't get on with your brother. I mean, you're not going to Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, what was the question again? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I was just saying, it's a shame. It would be great if you could get better. Yeah, the main you... thing is being brothers, man. Forget the band. But if you are in a band now, presumably you're, you're, you know, you're 47 now. You're an older man. Yeah. Noel's an older man. He's older than you, isn't he? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Smaller as well. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. You're not. You're mm. not helping matters. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, he's 52. I think. Say something nice about Noel. Because he's probably he's probably going to watch this. He's got a, he's got a, a, yeah he's definitely going to watch it. Well, he's a great songwriter, man. Yeah, there you yeah, go. There no, you go. great songwriter. He gives you your pop there. Okay, that's good. That's good. You have angered a voodoo high priestess. 
And as punishment, she has transported you into the body of one of the following people for a day. Who would you choose and what would you do for those 24 hours? And your three suggestions are Bonehead, Sir Paul McCartney, or your partner, the lovely Debbie? Ooh, uh, so I reckon it'd be Bonehead, right? I reckon I'm going in with Bonehead, man. And I'd go out and I'd just go wig shopping. <laughs> So that's what I do with Bonehead. I just go out and I just try on different wigs <laughs> and just stomp around whatever city I was in. He comes across so well in the documentary, yeah, your pal dude, Bonehead. Mate, he's a dude, man. He's like, he's, he's the one, like, he's, you know, he's always there with tech, you know, with, just constantly in chat, you know what I mean? And, he, you know, he's, he doesn't mess about Bonehead. He doesn't take himself too serious and neither do I, you know what I mean? Like, he's not, he's not, he's not uptight and we have a laugh and that's what I think Oasis was, you know what I mean? It was me and him. You know, Griggs was completely stoned out of his head all the time and Noel was a little bit serious because he was writing the music, you know what I mean? You know, it's a serious job, that. And me and Bonehead were just having a laugh, you know what I mean? And yeah. I think that's what the the good times of Oasis, the, having the crack times, was that, I mean, Bonehead. Yeah, OK. You would have been aware of them. Were you a fan? Were they heroes of yours? Huge. <laughs> like, I'm not just saying it because he's here, but the fact that I'm on the sofa with Liam Gallagher is, like, pretty huge. Right. But, like, honestly, they were, they were huge. huge they were everywhere, God. Jonathan, man. <laughs> not, just, not just Manchester, yeah. they were everywhere. Yeah. yeah, but there were other bands, and like, I was more of a Blur fan. No, oh, a lot God. of us were. <laughs> Rubbing it in now. I could tell by what you're wearing, <laughs> mate. <laughs> that was weird, because there was that weird... Big in there, there was yeah. that rivalry, wasn't there, in the press? Yeah, no, look. How do you feel about ending this interview with some word associations? Yeah, why not? Here we go, number one. Keanu Reeves. Ooh. <laughs> Tall, dark, handsome. SpongeBob. Legend. Farmers markets. Good for the soul. Skinny jeans. Terrible. And this interview. <laughs> Ask decent. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, you look like that. an Italian guy. Yeah. A hundred percent. But better looking though. <laughs> Nerves. You shouldn't be doing it. I know loads of people that are throwing up before they go on stage. I'm like, what is it when you had something dodgy to eat? They go, oh, there's loads of people out there. Nervous, man. I'll tell you when you get nervous, when no one's buying your records and you're looking at a McDonald's, you know, job trying to fill out one of them. That's when you should be getting nervous. You shouldn't be getting nervous when you're doing well and, you, and you've got to go on stage to loads of people who are buzzing off you, you know what I mean? That's when you should get nervous, when you've got a spade in your hand and you're digging an hole. Some days I enjoy the gigs, some days I don't. I know a lot of people like go, oh, it's just great, it's the best thing ever, every night is amazing, even like when we were, it's just everything is just amazing, it's like, fuck off, you know what I mean? I can't handle them lying Yeah, and I said, so Jim was on his phone in the studio and he's looking at, looking at the girls, obviously, and I said, look, <laughs> you can play the drums, man. He's going, yeah, yeah. I said, right, bongo, we need some congas, right? You're going to go down and do the congas. Oh, do I have to? I'm going, yeah, you have to, yeah, come on. You're the only one who can do it. Anyway, goes down there, headphones on, does it in one take, goes back up, takes his headphones, you go, oh, I'm done now, yeah. Goes back up, sits there on his phone, starts looking at the girls again. I was going, ah, it's amazing, isn't it, man? You've just been on your dad's new record and all that. Like, how do you feel, man? Your head must be blown, man. It must be blowing your mind. He's going, ah, like, shut your d. <laughs> and I, like, well hard to impress, man, these kids are today. He was like, ah, when we got what we're we getting for dinner? I'm like, ah, no, you're not blown away by it. You're not, you're going to be on the new record playing the congas. He's like, ah, shut up, <laughs> man. Just not impressed. Oh, bit. my goodness. So there you go, the kids a day, man. You can't, you can't. Gene, you, you know, most people are getting told to clean their rooms by their dads, not get down hey, there and play the bongos hey, on my new record. Hey, exactly, exactly. And I said to him, I said, look, when we do it live, you might have to come on and do like the con you know, the bongos. He's going, no, I ain't doing any of that. He goes, I don't want to be known as just a bongo, man. <laughs> I'm like, you've been known as the bongo man who gets a clip round here in a minute. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, he's not, uh, he's not having it, man. There you go. It used to be. It used to be. I don't know. I think maybe you disagree, but I always thought you were the unreasonable one and he was the reasonable one. That's how it was presented to us. Yeah. And, and maybe there's some truth in that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, well, I think we're both unreasonable and we're both... What was the other one? Reasonable. <laughs> reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but right now you seem to be being very reasonable. Being very I don't, re I don't know what Noel's saying. To be fair, I don't no, know. He's being that other word. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, really, I'm being really, I'm uh, okay. being really reasonable. Well, I want to thank all my brothers and sisters for buying tickets for the tour. I really appreciate it. You've made a very so-called angry man very, very happy. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. By the way, Scotland's a beautiful country. The people are magnificent. Get yourself up there. I am he. 
You are he, you are me, and we are all together. Mwah! Well, well, well. What do we have here, brothers and sisters? Another number one record to go along with my other number one record. Two in two years. Now, that's what I call biblical. I want to thank you lot for buying it and giving me the love and support. I am me, you are he, you are me, and we are all together.